We're gonna talk about the difference between single opt-in and double opt-in forms today on The Journey. Email marketing is so important for your business, but in order for email marketing to work, you have to get people to sign up or opt in for your list. We actually just did a video about that, which you can check out right here if you're interested. But there are two types of opt-in ways that a customer can join your list, single opt-in and double opt-in. So we're gonna break those down. So first off, a single opt-in is where a customer only has to sign up once. So you can have your opt-in form on your website. All they have to put in is their name and email address. They click submit, boom, they're on the list. One and done. Double opt-in is basically what it sounds. A customer has to opt-in twice. So they fill out that form and then they have to go back to their email. Mm. They'll get a confirmation email just making sure, hey, do you really wanna be a part of this list? And they have to click submit again. Well now, Morgan, that seems like a lot more work than the single opt-in, mm -hmm. and I know I've had to do it in the past. Yeah. So what are some pros and cons maybe of that? Yeah, so some of the cons of a double opt-in is that there's higher barriers to entry, right? Mm -hmm. You're gonna have people who sign up and then they say, oh, it's too much work. Mm -hmm. It's really not that much work. <laughs> but you will have people that will fall off because they don't want to, or maybe they, they forget or they have too mm -hmm. many emails, it just gets lost. So you're actually probably gonna have less subscribers in the double opt-in versus the single opt-in. Now with the single opt-in, you might have a lot of subscribers that you're not really interested in, a lot of bots, a lot of spam, because really anyone can sign up right. and there's not a verification process that happens. So you're saying possibly with the double opt-in, you have more relevant subscribers mm -hmm. that actually want to hear from you. You're gonna have a more engaged audience. It's gonna be smaller, but it's gonna be probably more targeted and mm -hmm. people that are really keenly interested in you and your message. So we've talked about the differences between single and double opt-in, but now that we have the double opt-in, how do you make sure that they go through all the steps mm -hmm. and actually opt-in? Yeah, so the first thing that you can do is on your website when they do that first part of the opt-in, you can just have it redirect to a page that says, hey, you're almost there. Mm. Hey, go check out your email to finish and do the last step. That will just be a reminder to them that, oh yeah, I needed to go do that right now so it doesn't get buried and lost. And I also see that as another verification check. Say for instance, someone just throws your email in there, my wife, and you didn't really <laughs> wanna sign up for that email list, you have to go into your email and actually hit that last confirmation. Mm -hmm. So the next step for the double opt-in, after they've gone into the email, they've clicked submit, they've done all these steps for you, they want your stuff, why don't you just thank them? Just have a thank you page saying, hey, I know this was a lot of work. Maybe you don't have to say that directly, but just say thank you. This is gonna be awesome. We're on an amazing journey here with my email list. A little appreciation goes a long way. So with email marketing, you do wanna give your subscribers the option of oh, yes. unsubscribing. However, when they click that unsubscribe, take them to another page and give them some options. Mm -hmm. You can have a one-click unsubscribe where they just like the one-click opt-in, they click and boom, they're off your list. But you might want to give them some options, like you said, where, hey, instead of getting every email, maybe you're just getting my newsletter, or maybe you're just getting a, a highlights once a month. People might actually be more in, inclined to do that because maybe you're sending too many emails or maybe they just wanted this one thing. So that gives your customers options and keeps more people on your list. Also, you can look at that data and realize what pieces of your content are doing better than others mm -hmm. and then know with a focus on those. All right, guys, now we know the difference between a single opt-in and a double opt-in and you know the pros and cons for both and what to do to increase your subscribers. Let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite to do? Do you like single opt-in or do you like double opt-in? We're gonna battle it out. And after you comment, make sure you like the video, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you know we have new content coming out. This is The Journey. We'll see you next time.